In this session, we're going to talk about bridging finance. Fundamentally, bridging was invented um, because people that wanted to sell their property, okay, um, didn't have the time to sell that property or there was an issue oh. with the property. So we're bridging the gap between selling and waiting for it to be sold to buying. So generally, when you go to an auction or there is some sort of a time restriction, that's when bridging finance really is being used um, currently. Or um, where it's being used is if the property is not up to standard, doesn't have a working bathroom or a kitchen, or it's a bit of a state, and you can't get a traditional mortgage on it. So there are many reasons why bridging finance is being used right now in this market. It just depends from project to project, okay? Um, you know, if you're going to buy a property and then convert it into an HMO, you could potentially do so, but the key bit is, is how do we get you out of there? And that's, the, that's a much more uh, important point. Very easy to come on a bridge. It's important you come out of the bridge uh, in time, in a timely manner, without it costing an arm and a leg.